Now that you have your face rigged as a 3D head model, you can drag the head file directly onto the base male or female model in Character Creator. For this tutorial, I've applied the face to the base of the male model, which we'll make adjustments to, to create the body shape we need for the biker. The first thing I do when the comic face is applied is to remove the hair from the model, because we can add that in later, and replace the pencil sketched eyes with the eyes provided within Character Creator, which have a lot more detail and give your figure more realism. For this tutorial, I used the brown eyes. Even though the finished biker artwork will have a high level of realism, we still want the character himself to feel like a cartoon. Therefore, I always scale up the size of the head for emphasis. Because the biker is a large, intimidating character, I also increase the scale of the hands and feet, and I tend to lower the ears for cartoon characters. It's now time to start morphing and changing the facial features of your character to customise him and make him your own. For cartoon characters like the biker, I highly recommend using the stylized body morphs by Tokomotion, which have a great cartoon quality while still retaining realistic proportions. And when exported to iClone, they pose and animate perfectly. As you progress with your modifications, be sure to bake your character regularly to permanently apply your changes. Baking also allows you to create more exaggerated features. You can morph a feature bake it, then morph the same feature again, and bake it again, and so on. Although it may seem obvious, it is worth highlighting the importance of saving your progress. Each time I save, I save a new version of my work, rather than saving over the top of the same file. This allows me to work backwards to an earlier version if I need to make any changes, and it saves a lot of headaches.